join us and discover beautiful beaches, rugged landscapes, pretty towns, desolate mountain ranges that sweep down to stunning lakes, unique architecture, history and folklore, no shamrocks, no shillelaghs and definitely no shenanigans, just make it Ireland. Today we take a nice leisurely dander down Leeson Street in South Dublin. One of the attractions of this part of Dublin, or Dublin in general, is of course its Georgian architecture. And you don't have to look very far to appreciate it. Just look at that grand terrace directly in front of us right now. Leeson Street is a street that's cut in half by the attractive Grand Canal that I featured in a previous Naked Ireland film. So please check that out if you haven't already seen it. Anyway, I'm starting my walk in Upper Leeson Street, which is south of the canal, and we'll finish up in Lower Leeson Street, away down at St Stephen's Green, another place previously featured in an Aiken Ireland video. So why Leeson Street? Well the street was named after the Leeson family who were, wait for it, brewers. There was obviously going to be beer involved somewhere. Anyway in 1728 the street was renamed Leeson Street after they branched into property development. Previously it had been called Suze Street. This is a busy place. We're now just crossing Grand Parade and we get our first look at the Grand Canal. As we cross the canal it's worth noting that while it looks like a very well behaved area today, this canal was once a location for prostitutes. Street walkers used to work along the banks of the canal here. And that's an impressive looking building in front of us now, I think you'll agree. The Georgian period was between 1714 and 1830, during the reign of the four King Georges, who incidentally, for those viewing from outside Ireland, were King of Great Britain and Ireland. Now we're at the junction of Fitzwilliam Place, it's a little bit easier to cross here at least. Now one of these houses across the street is the Jesuit Community Centre. I'm not exactly sure which one, but I imagine if we were closer there'd be a plaque on the wall identifying it. Why is it important? Well, in 1990, a lost masterpiece by the Italian artist Caravaggio called The Taking of Christ was found hanging on a wall in here. Fancy that. When it was actually identified and authenticated, it was moved to the more appropriate National Gallery, not far from here, where it can be seen today. It's a very impressive painting. Of course, I probably don't need to say that Naked Ireland has a film about the National Gallery too. Give it a watch. But you can see, I think, the consistency of the Georgian architecture in this street. And Leeson Street is not exceptional in this respect. There are many Dublin streets with the same grand Georgian terraces. It's really beautiful to see all the brown brick, the iron railings, and characteristic windows and doors with the half moon skylights above them. Mm -hmm. 
There are also four embassies on Leeson Street, the Portuguese, Maltese, Palestinian and Cypriot embassies all are here. Why not? These buildings are suitably grand for such addresses, I think. Just crossing Penbrook Street now. You'll notice all these houses have basements too. That's another important characteristic of these Georgian properties. Now just on the right here, we have the largest piece of real estate on Lower Leeson Street, owned by the Catholic University School. So we have the Catholic University here, the Jesuits across the road, and the prostitutes up at the canal. What a mix. I wonder was there any interaction? There's a building just ahead of us now with a very spectacular balcony, all in cast iron. It is quite a fabulous doorway as well. Very beautiful. Now this modern building on our left is the Sugar Club, one of Dublin's most important music venues. I admit it's not very Georgian looking, but it's of interest nonetheless. And obviously this being Dublin, or Ireland for that matter, there's a fair smattering of pubs. Here we have Hardigans. And just a few doors down we have Madigans. And directly in front of us now we have the magnificent St Stephen's Green and that's where we'll end our little walk. I must say we got a lovely bright day for it. Please give the film a like if it's been interesting and importantly, don't forget to subscribe, share, do all the youtube -y stuff, it's important to me and I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all very soon in the next Naked Ireland video.